in this tutorial we will create some exercises we will solve some exercises based on what we learn in 3d autocad 3d basics lecture number 3 so we'll be creating this exercise so we will use revolve command to create this object so we will have to create this profile the one which is indicated by matching lines so let's start we will take the limit of suppose 150 150 so give us limits enter load left 0 comma 0 enter upper right 150 comma 150 then to apply limit give z enter a enter then we will create exa create the shape here only directly we will not switch to 3d until we create the shape so we will take one reference line here suppose of length of 40 then the whole inside hole is 20 so we will offset it by 10 so start with line give first point make ortho on length of 40 enter enter to come out then we will offset this line by 10 offset distance is 10 select object offset give on the side click there again the upper line is at a distance of foot at the external diameter is 80 that means the gap will be 40 radius so this line will be at a distance of 40 so we will offset it this line again at a distance of 40 so we will key in 40 press enter then from this line it is below by 4 distance so we will again offset by 4 distance then press enter to come out then next we will create one reference center line so we will create one part and mirror it one side part we will create it and we will mirror so the width of this object is 29 so 14 14.5 we will offset again offset 14.5 this line on this side click enter we will connect these lines using fillet click on this object fillet enter so this side is then this gap is for you total gap is for you so we will offset it at 2.5 2.5 enter on this side enter again we will trim the unwanted object press enter so we'll, we can also use the crossing edges enter crossing window trim then press enter then remove the unwanted objects enter so this top portion is ready then here 24 we already taken that means from center it will be 12 we already taken 10 so it will be 2 and we want to create a line at 8 degree so we will just take a line command first point give distance of 2 then on this side we, we want inclined line so we will make ortho off then give the distance suppose we will take roughly distance of suppose 20 then press tab on the keyboard to give the angle so from here we want 8 degree so this angle will be 1 172 that means 120 172 press enter press enter to come out so this angle is created then again we will trim press enter and remove the un unwanted object so this one side is ready we will mirror it so mirror select object use the crossing window enter specify first point of mirror line specify second point press enter and come out now we don't need this vertical line we will erase it then next these objects are separate so we will join it using join command because for revolve 
a connected object is needed so we will just select by crossing window press enter so this object so we will join it again join select object enter so this object is properly joined then we will just click on it click on this and we will just extend it press escape now this object is 2d view is ready as per this drawing so next will be revolve so we will shift to 3d modeling then click on here this is isometric so in this way it is ready then we will click on extrude arrow and click on revolve then select object to revolve enter then specify axis start point and end point then give the angle of 360 degree then press enter then view the object in shaded with edges so in this way this object is created but this grids are if these grids are creating problem you can off it from your grid display by clicking on it then one more thing remained is a fillet is there you can orbit it by holding down the shift and scroll and dragging the mouse so we need a fillet of 4 that means diameter is 4 so 2 to fillet we will need it so we will create using fillet so fillet select this arc then radius will be 2 then select this arc hold shift and scroll and drag the mouse and orbit and select this side also then press enter so in this way these fillets are created and this object is also created then next object is okay next next is this object so we will be creating this object island key object using sweep sweep command so here we at first have to create a center axis so it will be 15 plus 5 here that means 20 and 65 line will be created so we will start new drawing open then uh, again we will take it as isometric then we don't want it here so we will give UCS icon enter no region then we want to make it like this vertical so we will take from here right plane then take line give first point make ortho on then distance will be here 20 and 65 so we will give 20 just zoom minus and give 65 enter then press enter to come out so here we forget to give the limit therefore it is not panning below so just give zoom all so it will reset the limit automatically then here a fillet of 5 is required so we will fillet it fillet then we will set the radius by clicking on this radius of 5 enter select first object select second object so for sweep this object needs to be connected so again we will connect using joint select all the object press enter so this single object is created press escape to come out then next will be to create a polygon of edge length 3 so we will get back to top plane then we, from here we will create a polygon then number of sides are 6 then we actually create using edge method so we will click on this edge and give the first point and give the length of 3 press enter so in this way this polygon is created then again we will go to this revolve click on this arrow and click on sweep and select object to sweep so we will select this shape then press enter then select sweep path then you can view it in shade it with edges make read off so this object is also created then next object will be okay this funnel we want to create so we'll be creating using loft command so at first we will set the limit of 150 again start new drawing open give the limits 
zero comma zero one fifty comma one fifty zoom all then enter enter again for loft now we will have to create one ellipse of eighty by one twenty diameter so we'll take from your ellipse center give the center point give make ortho on give one direction so horizontal i want radius will be of 60 enter vertical will be of 40 enter so this ellipse is created and next is this circle of dia 10 and here the circle of dia 20 so two circle we will create 5 and 10 radius circle click at the center give the radius of 5 press enter to repeat the command again center point give the radius of 10 then we will switch to 3d it's isometric zoom minus we will shift this icon using ucsi ucs icon no region then next we want this section to be at a height of ellipse will be at a height of 85 and it will be small circle will be at a height of 80, 125 minus 85 that means it will be at a 40 40 distance so we'll just move it move select object enter base point direction will be vertical give the distance of 85 then again move select the small circle enter base point direction will be downside give the distance of 40 enter so in this way it has been copied then we will connect it using loft command so loft then select cross section in lofting order select first second third then press enter to come out and click on cross section only then from here we can view the object share it with edges make read off then this object is actually hollow it is a hollow so we will make the shell of it using shell command so shell select 3d solid then remove faces we will click on this top face then hold down shift and scroll and orbit zoom here and remove this face also zoom minus then press enter then give the shell thickness of 1 then enter and click on exit exit so in this way this funnel is also ready so in, in this way we have created all the three exercises so we'll stop here thanks for watching the video